Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. And as, well, I don't know about as you can see, at the moment the new update with all the terraforming stuff has not yet been released. So we are just going to play our normal play and I want to try to pick up the rest of the logs that we've got lying around. There's that one tree there that I actually meant to push over last time but I didn't so we're going to shove that tree over we've got more logs that we want to put in here and I'm going to get all the logs that I can into this trailer we're going to keep working on that uh, and then once that's all done there we go that one can fall out of there hopefully it'll all fall out okay um, yeah once we've got all the logs that we can into that trailer I'm going to swap the tractors over and I'm going to put this fence onto that trailer because I suspect that it's going to need it. So we just nudge that one over and then we can go out and we can trim the branches off. At least that's what I'm hoping we can do. Uh, if I lower down like that, there we go. We can run along it like that. This one here seems to actually be working. Sometimes it seems to work and sometimes not so much. So if I chop this one about there... We should, can I pick that one up? I can, excellent, even better. We should be able to bring this one over here. Now, I'm thinking, I know, I know, I know, I know, thinking is a very dangerous thing to do. We don't want to be doing too much of that. Uh, but nevertheless, I'm, I'm going to take a risk, and I'm going to try doing a little bit of thinking. And then we come over here, we will grab that one there with the log fork, and we will take that one down to the trailer a minute, and then we'll come back up and we'll grab the bigger group of logs. So I will take you like that, and then close that one onto it, flick you up like that. Now this is the bit, is getting it to roll back onto the log fork, because it doesn't seem to like to do that. It sort of gets stuck a little bit on the way down and it doesn't like quite tip all the way back I very much doubt that we're going to be able to pick up the other group I mean I'd like to go and get the big JCB front loader and the log fork with that one and maybe try those I don't really think it's going to be worth it and um, yeah I don't know if we can really afford it because there are other things that we want to do we do want to save a load of our money because once this terraforming thing is available for us to start playing around with it does apparently cost a bit to, looking at the, the, the um, preview video that was posted of it, uh, it does cost a bit to be able to do the terraforming. So we're going to want to save some of our hard-earned cash to be able to terraform the farm. And, I mean, I don't know yet how much I'm going to terraform, uh, but we're definitely going to be doing some. Now, this is the difficult bit, is trying to get that fork to close in such a way that we can pick up the logs because it doesn't pick the logs up right it just doesn't like to pick the logs up so option two obviously is we pick it back like that a little bit and then we come out here and we try to do this manually now I have been able to do this previously with uh, log forks on the JCB that has worked so maybe just maybe we'll be able to do it on here as well it's getting the logs to stay. I mean, it's stacking them on there in the first place, that's the easy bit. It's getting them to stay there once you've stacked them and then you close the clamp. And it's, it's closing that seems to cause the issue. So you look, I've, I've got it there and then if I close that one over it, uh, they're now sort of dancing around a little bit and it's how securely it's going to hold them. Well, we back all the way down to the trailer and we tip them into the trailer. They're also, in part, facing the wrong way, and uh, so am I. And there, as soon as we start to move a little bit, you can see now, they are really, dis they, they've decided that they're going to start dancing. And this, this is the problem, is that they've now decided, oh, no, we don't like it in this log fork. We're going to start doing some crazy stuff, uh, whether or not you like it or you know, otherwise it, it, it's too bad. We're going to do it anyway. And that's always that's always been the problem with log forks and that, is occasionally these things all start dancing and they, they do some very strange things. Once once they start moving, it, they, they start to do some very, very strange things. Yeah, I know I jumped out of the tractor while it was still moving and probably 
not the best way to go about tractor driving, but you know what's done is done. Let's 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 not let's not beat ourselves up over it. So we got that one in there. Did that stay in? You know, I think it might have done. I think that may actually have stayed in there. I'm thinking that we should go because I'm thinking that this is a fair load that we've got in here. So let's just do that a minute. Oh. I did it wrong. Uh, let's do that, and then... I thought it was on the back one. It wasn't. We'll do that, and then we'll do that. We'll put you down here. Actually, I don't need this tractor anymore, so I'm just going to move this one completely back out of the way. And it can just park here for a minute. There we go. Very elegantly done. And then we'll come back to you, and... You can close on the log grab. I'm not going to... Even though it does seem like it would be a good idea, I'm not actually going to uh, take another log with the log fork. What I will do is switch over to the back, wait a second, and just unload that one, and then we'll take this trailer. Now, I'm hoping that we'll also be able to sell the wood chips up at the bioheat plant, and a lot of people told me that they thought the reason I wasn't able to tip them out last time was because I didn't actually have the trailer selected. So we've got the trailer. You can see now the trailer is selected. And even though I got the trailer selected, I'm still able to operate the front loader. I'm hoping that, you know, trailer being selected means that we should be able to tip out wood chips at the bioheat plant. Because some people have said that they can sell the wood chips there without any problem. So in theory, I'm hoping that we will also be able to do that. Uh, if we just haul ourselves around this little corner here. We've got a lot of weight in this trailer. There's one little tiny extra branch left on there. I'm not going to worry about that. We're just gonna, we, we, we just want to get up there and we want to get this lot sold. We've got all of these wood chips. We've got all of these logs as well. We've got this really, really super long log. And my purpose at the moment is just to get these over there and sold. There's a whole load of trees on this side that we did talk about maybe doing something with. We're not going to worry about that today or in the immediate future because we want to, like, progress things a little bit. There's other tasks that we want to do. We, you know, Namely, we want to get started with the plowing. Plus, we want to do some terraforming as well. And the terraforming is... Well, we could be a couple of episodes looking at that because that looks <laughs> absolutely spectacular. I've, I've seen some of the pictures and that that people are posting of what they've been able to accomplish using that terraforming stuff. And quite frankly, it looks amazing. It's like you can literally customize your farm any way you want. You can't remove the trees. You can't remove the objects on the map. We know that you can't do those bits. But other than that, you can do pretty much anything you want. There's, there's a lot of different things that you can remove. So we have $17,800 from selling all of that. We jump in here. It doesn't have any kind of tip signal. You don't have access to this land. I'm trying to force tip it here onto this spot. And it's not having it. So it doesn't look like we're allowed to sell wood chips here at this one. Which does surprise me. I thought you'd be able to sell wood chips here. But no, force tipping or otherwise. I've got, it, I've got the right one selected. But it's not allowing us to tip the wood chips there so we're gonna i mean i suppose i could have tried the barn but uh, i can't see that that would be the one to do it if we run these up to the sawmill and then we'll go back we've got a few more um branches lying around there's not actually that much left i don't think now um so we can get rid we can get rid of the ones that's left and then that's it we oh stump grinder next we've got to get the stump grinder going next and uh, grind out all of the rest of the stumps it's actually quite relaxing driving up along here you can hear a bit of the wildlife out in the distance seagulls off the shore very few very, very little in the way of cars and other traffic and yeah it generally is it is just quite a, a peaceful little run up through here and we want to come in this way. I can go straight in off the side here. This bit here is just decoration. That's not actually anything that uh, we do anything with. But we come along this way. Bring it up to this point right here. And then we can back in around that corner. So I want to go in there. There we go. Turn just a little bit. 
there. So, I mean, you could bring whole trade there. See, we've now got a uh, start overloading. We can tip into there without any trouble. Um, I've got... Well, if we were to, like, bring a lorry up here with a big trailer, we've got, um, you know, the, the different trailers in here in, under the tippers. We've got uh, quite a few different ones. I mean, we're using... We're only using the small Joskin here with uh, for wood chips. But if we were really going to go all out on wood chips, we've got one there at 48,000. You've got 52 on that one. This one is 55,000, 56. That one goes up to... Uh, well, actually, the Wilson there, that one goes up to 60,000. 59 and 60,000. So, I mean, that one's slightly more than that one. The Cramper is a quite a familiar one for most of us. Uh, so, yeah, 60,000 litres in one go is, is not bad. You could make a road train as well if you wanted to and really start to haul them out. Uh, by the way, we've got a couple of extra mods here today. Um, these are off the mod hub. We've got, um, was, we had those there already. We've now got that one's a 3.1 and that one goes out to 8.4. This one is 3.2. That takes it out to 9 meters. So the Lely Splendimo, uh, that one gives you a 9 meter cut in total, which is pretty good actually. And what does this one give? This one gives a 9.9. .9. So it's not that much difference between... The nine meters on the tractor and the big M450 here with a nine point with almost a 10 meter cut. So those are pretty close together. Then we've also now got the uh, the Lamborghini Mac VRT. I'm very pleased about this one. I like that tractor. And then over in the large tractors, you've seen these, I suspect, before, although I haven't actually installed them. But the Big Buds are both available now as well in-game. You can get those in there if you want to. I'm not going to be using those on this map, but they are now available. Anyway, that's a few of the mods that... Well, that is the mods that I've installed today. Those are the new ones off of Mod Hub. And I'm going to get this one back. We're going to get some more timber into it. We'll sell the timber back at the other sell point rather than dragging it all the way over here to this sawmill just because it's quicker. Um, it appears that you get the same price regardless of which sawmill you use. I've cut in in front of the car, but that's actually the first time I've come to the crossing and I've had to wait for the train to go through. So I'll just wait for that to lift. There we go. And then we can be on our way. But yeah, it, it's real. I do love the way the train just keeps going round and round and round. And it is actually possible to have to stop in order for the train to go across the track. So it's something that you do have to take into account. And unlike the cars, the train doesn't stop. So if you park yourself on the track, bad things are going to happen to you. Now, drag this one all the way over here. We should be able to get most of the rest of the logs in. We didn't have very many down over the other side. It was mostly just here. And, yeah, we got we got a lot of big timbers here. First of all, though, I'd like to go around and try to gather up the ones that I can pick up by hand, if possible. Because we can run these down here. And, remember from the live stream, we were able to pretty much just walk up to the side of the trailer and start dropping stuff in over the edge. Which work quite nicely. So, obviously, that one there is no good. But this one... Can we pick this one up? No. No, I can't pick that one up. Oh, I can pick this one up. Any that I can pick up by hand, I will pick up by hand. Because it's easier. So, there's another one. Drop that one in. Like that. And then back up this way. And... Right, that one's fine. But this one here... Yeah, if I, if I cut that one in half, I should be able to take both of those. Take this piece here. Yeah, that's definitely all good. That's, that's definitely a go. Run this one down, and... Oh, okay, let's, let's... I somehow managed to climb right inside the trailer, and then lob the tree out over the other side as well. I'm, I, I'm not really sure how I managed to do that, but I'll drop that one into there. That one is now secured. Okay, we, we, we've made some progress. We have actually made a little bit of progress. We've got a slightly shorter one here. I'll bring that one down and this time go a little bit more slowly. There we go. Just just need to be a little bit sensible sometimes. I know, I know, I know. Me and sensible don't normally mix. It's it's not something that normally goes well together. And um, yeah, and, and anybody that knows me and anybody that's watched my videos for a while... We'll vouch for that. We'll absolutely vouch for that. Right, let's, let's, let's grab you a minute. There we go. And, okay, well, I've, I've managed to throw it. What about that one? 
That one's still too heavy. That might be a problem because of where it is. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that one with the log fork. So instead, I'm going to cut this one smaller still. And hopefully I can take that one with me. So I'll take that bit. There we go. That's better. Um, nope, I don't want to crouch. I want to run. So we'll run this one down and chuck this one in. We're going to be, we're going to end up with, I would say, seven or eight pieces that are going to be left that we're going to need to use the log forks to take. And that's fine. We, we can cope with that. That's absolutely fine. It's still not going to take very long. So we should, in theory, be able to get our plow on today and actually start doing some of our plowing. And we've got a big area here. I'm wondering how much we should actually plow right up to the top here um, just to start with because obviously we want the terraforming stuff. Now, they did estimate that it would be at the beginning. I've done it again, haven't I? I've, I've gone all the way through. Uh, that The estimate was that uh, the terraforming stuff would be available for us as an official patch at the beginning of this week. Now, for me, it's Tuesday. And there's no sign of it yet. However, it was a beta test. So we know full well that with beta testing, uh, some things could have come up that were unexpected, that weren't, you know, they're absolutely completely unexpected. In which case, it could take a little bit longer. It could be that there's going to be another week before that stuff turns up. Um, yeah, it would be a shame if that is the case. But if, you know, if, if that's the way it is, that's the way it is. There's not a lot that we can do about it. I can't pick that one up. Can I cut this one in half? You can't. You can cut the stumps. And you can go and pick those up with the cranes. And you can sell them for money. But it appears that you can't actually do anything else with them. Right, let's run up along here. And see how much of this one we can trim off. There we go. I've actually cut most of that off. i just got one little bit. There we go, like that. And you are stopped. All right. Let's chop you down there like that, and then I can get this bit. That's ideal. Oops, there, like that. Run this bit along here. Right, just go steady. I'm going to chuck this in too fast. There, and then chuck that down into there like that. Okay, that's fine. Then we'll go and get the next one. Uh... What happened to it? Right, there's one here. Can I, I can't pick that one up, so that one's going to have to be done with the tractor. This, I think, is the last one here that is lying down here in the bushes here. Um, so I'll do the same with this one. We'll go up through and we'll try and trim off everything that we can. Doesn't It, it doesn't trim that well, does it? No matter where you kind of stand on it, it still doesn't trim that well. I mean... Yeah, we've got this other way of doing it, where you just come along and you sort of do it like that, and that does work a bit, but at the same time, I'd rather just be able to run up along the branches like we were doing before, because it's quicker. It, it, it is much quicker just being able to do it like that. Never mind. We'll take this one. I think this is the last one I'm going to be able to carry by hand, and then the rest we're going to be doing with the log forks. So I got, yeah, there's these big branches here. That is, what about you? Nope, can't pick that one up. Uh, there's no more up here. That one I know I can't pick up. And then there's this one here. Can't pick that one up. I think that's it. I think that is all of them. I haven't failed any that have gone the other way. Okay, log forks. Let's use the log fork now. We'll, we'll do just one at a time. It'll be fairly quick to get through these. We've got two up there, three there in the middle, and then there's two over there as well. And, yeah, I do think that just doing them one at a time is probably going to be the fastest way to do this, rather than trying to mess around and get more than one on a, 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 in one go, because we've already found from previous experience that trying to do two at once is just not something that seems to work. So grab that one there and bring you down. Ooh, steady, steady. Okay, we're, we're a little bit heavy on the front of this one. In part, I suspect, because we don't have the weight on the back. And also, in part, because we're racing downhill for it. It's still going to work, though. It is still going to absolutely work. I'm going to be stubborn about this. I'm going to make it work. Let's bring you up there. Get that one. Oh. Uh, you know, I probably should pick that one up a bit better. Or clean that one up a bit better, maybe. 
That's what I meant to say. And there, that's the bit that I don't like. Where it's like, where it's basically just sort of pops magically through the log. That's one thing I've always hated about uh, any of the log forks in general is the way that they do that. And yeah, it doesn't seem to be a lot that we can do about it on this one either. This is one reason that I don't particularly like handling logs in this game. Um, and why I'm eagerly awaiting the arrival of a any kind of um, auto log loader. Okay, I am doing a lot of sliding around. The back, the, the back wheels are doing a lot of sliding around on this one. Uh, but yeah, auto load logs is something I am eagerly anticipating. I am really looking forward to that turning up. It is going to be... That one is always a game changer for me. It's an absolute game changer. Because other than doing... Um, you know, trying to pick up logs with a log fork, I actually quite like doing the forestry stuff. And there's, there's, there is a lot of... Look, right there, see? That really irritates me. And that log there, I'm going to be able to do anything with it, because now it's just going to roll down the hill. I try and do that, and the log fork is just going to be difficult about it. I don't know. It's going to work. Maybe, it, maybe this time it is. Just once, it's going to behave itself. Right, we do that a minute, and then... Chuck you into the air. There we go. Look at that. It's being haved. It's being haved itself. It's wonderful. It's 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 been having. And we go up through here. Grab another one. See this one here is I reckon this is like literally not gonna work at all. Um and also I reckon that it you know if we cut like another inch off of this one with the chainsaw, we very likely could have picked this one up with the chainsaw. When it causes any problems at all. Turning sideways on the hill like that while you're reversing. Really not something you want to do with a tractor and a loader. Trust me, I speak from experience here. It is very likely to end up with your tractor tilting over onto just a couple of its wheels. And is also likely to make you feel like um, your life is now going to start flashing in front of your eyes. Uh, I mean... It wasn't all that exciting, it's got to be said, the, the whole life flashing in front of my eyes, but uh, it, it, it certainly sort of seemed to start happening, and yeah, uh, I wasn't really thinking about it very much at the time, and then afterwards I was like, well, is that it? Really? You, you could have given me some, you could have given me some better bits. I mean, i, I got to be honest, I've done more exciting stuff than that. You could have given me some more, you could have, you know, with, with the whole life flashing in front of your eyes thing, you know, you'd think that it would be a reel of some of the really good stuff, but no. Nope, nope, nothing like that. It was just like, you know, mundane and boring bits. And I was disappointed, it's got to be said. I was I was very disappointed with that, so um, I, I wouldn't recommend it. If, if you want a decent highlight reel, you're probably better just to go and look on Facebook and get one of those... Um, little memory videos. I've never actually watched one, but um, I'm, I know that some people like them and, and they share them. So that's probably a bit more interesting than the whole actual life flashing in front of your eyes. I mean, yes, the, the, the incident that's occurring right there and then to have your life flashing in front of your eyes, possibly reasonably interesting. Um, I don't know why those logs are sort of sliding sideways quite so drastically when I'm dropping them in there. That seems a very odd bit of behavior there really doesn't it uh there's one thing i want to do here because i reckon that that log there is the one bit that is holding everything up in the air so if i chop that one through these others are all going to fall down in uh maybe if i cut some of these a minute come over here there cut you through and then i want to cut that next one through why aren't you letting me Look, see, it's letting me cut that one. Ah, there we go. Right. Now they're sliding down into the trader a bit. That's, that's all I wanted it to do. Now we can back up. This is it. This is it. This is, this is all of the trees. We've now cleared this field. That's everything out. And if I... I'll put that onto there. Like that. There we go. Just lift that one up a little bit. We'll run this over and we will sell this timber. Then the wood chipper over there, we have no more use for that one at the moment. So we're going to return that one. I'm not going to bother keeping hold of it. 
And then our next plan is to start plowing. There is nothing else that we need to do before that. So we can get the plow onto this tractor and we can start plowing. Now, I have been told that it's actually possible to use hired help on allow create fields. I had no idea. So that's something I definitely want to try in a minute. See if we can use any hired help on the allow create fields bit. But first we want to get this over to the, um, the biomass heating plant. Right. Biomass heating plant. Let's see how much we get. We've got one piece of timber that's not been properly cleaned up here. But most of it has. Well, all the rest of it has. So we ought to get a reasonable amount. Plus we've got quite a few big logs in there. $15,000. That's not bad. We had 17000 with the last load. So it's slightly better on the last load. Uh, but 15 grand from that one plus... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's, there's a log right there. You see that one there? Right, let's back you up this way a minute. I'm going to unhitch you there. Like that. And then... Actually, that trailer could be returned as well. We don't need that trailer anymore. But this log right here is one of the extra ones that turn up. There, see? You can handle it like a regular log. So we can bring that one round. And drop that one into there. Like that. If it will let go of it. There we go. It's getting a bit sticky, but still, it's, it's fine. There. And, yeah, see? You see what I did there with the piece of wood? It's a bit sticky. Yeah, okay, never mind. Um... Uh, $680 for selling that. So you can go and get these little extra bits of timber that are lying around on the map and you can sell them. So you, you've, already, you've got free money that is already laid down on the ground and you can go and sell it. So even though you have to go and buy the land for a lot of it, uh, you've got... that. I can't pick that one up. I can pick that one up though. Even though you've got to go and buy the land for a lot of it, there are logs like that. $272 Euro a dollars there. And then there's another one there, which is that one right there. Um, and then the tree stump there as well. You can cut that one through. It's basically just right here. We've got an... Yeah, I'm not allowed to cut that one. Um, you've got those scattered around the map. And that they're in all kinds of places. So you could go through land you don't own, picking up the loose logs that are on the ground, and then take them to the sawmill and sell them. So that is one way that you could start earning a little bit of money. And I was thinking about this the other day. If a map is released that I think is suitable for a super hardcore map, it might be that we have a way of earning a bit of money before we buy anything. So long as the smallest plot of land available to buy is small enough that we can buy after we've sold a whole load of those bits, we may still be able to do it. The only drawback is that you can't cut them up to sell them. So I, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe what we would do is we would have it already... Um, we would have, we'd start off by owning one piece already. We're, we're just so if we own one piece of land, um, then that's our way around it. Because otherwise we're not going to be able to cut anything down and then it just won't work. You know, you sort of defeated before you start. Um, we just back that one in there. I'm, I'm still unsure as to whether we should get rid of this one. So we'll keep hold of it for a minute. Back you in round there like that. And there. Right, so you can unhitch there a minute. Uh, I will just go into the garage and we will return. So I want to go least items right here. We'll return the case right there. Yeah. So they will come and collect that one. And they'll come and collect that one there. Uh, the stepper trailer right there. I'm not sure. Do I want to keep that one? It's not costing me that much to hold on to that trailer. Where is that trailer? Oh, I'm, I'm looking right at it. It's right next to me there. Yeah, it's not costing me that much to keep hold of it. So may, we'll, we'll keep hold of it for now. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll worry about maybe doing something else with it another time. Uh, right, I've got the front load. I've got the, the bale spike there in front of the house. I'm going to put the log fork over here. Just unhitch the log fork by itself. Oops. 
not allowed in that stairs because I had the whole thing up in the up in the air and it was trying to detach the whole thing. Uh, so if I do that, then I can bring this one over this way and I can put. Actually, where do I want to put it? I'll bring this one over here. Bring you over to there. Set you down like that, and then unhitch that one. Then I will go up and I will go and get that front weight up there, and... Oh. Um... What's it called? Uh, 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 stump grinder. Stump grinder. We've got, we got to do the stump grinding first. If we get the stump grinding done, then we'll be ready for the plowing. But I'm now thinking we may not have time to actually get started on the plowing, because we've still got to do all the stump grinding, and there are several stumps that we've got to grind out here. So let me just grab that one onto there a minute, so that we've at least made a start, and... Where did I leave the stump grinder? I know I got it here somewhere. Pretty sure we actually bought the thing, didn't we? At least I hope we did. Because if we... Ah, uh, there it is. It's behind the fertilizer spreader. Let me go and move that one a second. There. Did I just slide round that corner? I did. I did. I drifted. I drifted in the fence. Yes. Okay. I am officially... Now I'm 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 officially like a, a racer. I am I, I'm I'm a I'm a fent racer. I can drift in my fent tractor. That is that that is no small achievement, ladies and gentlemen. Being able to drift in your fent tractor, at least um, it's no small achievement to be able to do something like that with a tractor as expensive as the one I'm driving in, and keep your job afterwards. I mean, technically, yes, I do own the farm and the tractor, so it's entirely up to me what I do. But let's be honest here. The chances of me ever actually owning a farm and a big expensive tractor like this are fairly slim. So really we're looking at uh, me working for someone else. And I don't know very many people that would be happy to put up with that kind of nonsense. It's got to be said. I really, really don't. Now where is this? This, this, this is going to be the next thing. Is I don't know where any of the stumps are. From all these I cut down loads of trees. And I can't see any tree stumps. Oh, there's one. I see one. I'm not I'm not gonna take my eye off it. I'm gonna I'm gonna look. Right, it's it's over there. It's over there. It's over there. It's there. It's right in that bit. There. Oop, steady, steady. Can you see it there? Can you see it? There it is. Look, let me turn this one on. There we go. Like that. Nailed it. Got the tree stump. Wow, okay, I did. I actually, like, completely got the tree stump all in one go. Now, where is it? Ah, there's another one right there, and I can see a couple more just ahead of us. If you look right into the distance, it's really easy to see the tree stumps because you don't have any grass or shrubs there. They, they don't get drawn in until you get a little bit closer. That does make it easier. It's just that when you get a little bit closer, you've then, like, completely forgotten where they were, and, yeah, that, then you go back to it being difficult again. There's one up there. See, this bit right here, this this is one of those bits where I'd like to be able to terraform it a little bit. We use that whole new terraforming tool and try and tidy this up a little bit. We, we've got that great big rock there that's going to be in the way. That, I think, is an object, so we're going to sort of go around that bit. But there is quite a bit of it here that we should be able to do a bit of terraforming on. Mainly because I'd like to test it out and we'll see what we're able to do. We, we're accumulating a little spare pile of cash ready for it. We've got $54,500 so far for our accumulated cash. So I'm going to bring that one back onto there and start you as well. How far should we go? Oh, there we go. Right, there's that one. And there's another one right there that I can see just inside that piece of shrub there. Uh, oh, there's another one just near the bonnet of the tractor. There now, right in line with it. Uh, that's another bit that's done. So then I can come over to this one. And we swing round there. There's like a black mark on the ground there for one of them. Do that. You know in uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit and like other classic cartoons like that, uh, you've got those holes that you stick on the wall. I really want one of those. I think that would be absolutely brilliant. You, you can peel the hole off the wall and you can put it anywhere you like. It would just be fantastic. I really, really, really want one of those. Uh, but that's that's kind of what that stump looked like, just for a minute. One of those portable holes. 
If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch Who Framed Roger Rabbit. It's such an awesome film. Genuine classic. Um, but uh, who, who is it that's in it? I can't remember his name now. There's a famous fella in it. And, of course, Roger Rabbit. So, you know, if, if you're not watching it for the famous fella, then watch it for Robert, Roger Rabbit. I can't remember what his name is now. Hang on, I'm, I'm going to have to look this up. Bob Hoskins. Bob Hoskins is the main star. And, yeah, it, it, it is just absolutely brilliant. Um, and then you've also got Christopher Lloyd in it as well, who plays a um, one of the bad guys in there. And, and he's really, really awesome. Uh, so, yeah, if you've, if you've never seen it, seriously, go and watch that film. It's just fantastic. It's absolutely hilarious. Uh, bring that on around. Right, I've... I know I've got one down over there. Where else have I got tree stumps? Oh, there's, is that another one over there? I think that's another one over there. I think this this is about it now. This this is almost it. This is almost all of them. Bring you... Oh, there we go. Right, see this, this one here, I've got like a couple pieces. Sort of work it out. There we go. We've got all of that. And if I look back over that way... Can I see any more tree stumps? I'm looking. I can't see any. If you're able to see any there, then let me know. Get in the comment section. Tell me if you can see any. Uh, there's one right there under the wheels. And then there's another one in front of us that we've got to go back and get. Let's just lower that down there and just slice on through that one. It's looking like we may not have time to actually go and do the bit that I want to do, which is start the plowing. Oh. Well, we might. If this is the last one, we might actually have time to start ploughing as well. I want to kind of mark out the edges of the ploughing. We go, we'll, we'll just sort of go around the edge of some of it. I don't know how much edge we're going to do with the ploughing. Because, obviously, we've got... Um, I, I don't know how high we're going to go with it. Because, you know, I, I want to do terraforming as well. Why aren't, why aren't you cutting? Seriously, why, why aren't you? Oh, there. There we go. Just got that one little bit. This, this, ah, nope, it's done it. It's done it. It's done it. It's okay. It's okay. Panic over. I thought for a minute we weren't going to be able to do it. Uh, let's have a look. That's looking pretty good. I don't see any more. I'm going to leave the stump grinder out because I've no doubt that we've missed something somewhere. And then we'll be able to quickly hitch it back on and have another go. Just get the, just get the, the bits that we missed. Is there any bits that we missed? I don't think so. I think we've done pretty well. Right. Let's hope that we've got most of them. We'll leave the stump grinder right here so it'll be nice and easy for us to get to. So I want to just lower that one down like that and unhitch. And then we can run over here and get the plow. Where did I leave the plow? Oh, it's there. We grab that one right there. Zoom in a bit. And then... We'll start the ploughing, and then we'll, we're going to try hired help. I'm, I'm going to, like, mark out the very edges of it all. And then once we've marked out... Does, is this folded? It was folded. It's not folded anymore, but it was. And I will bring that one over like that. So along this bottom edge is actually pretty much exactly where we want it. We're not going to want to change that. Now, we probably will want to change it, but we don't want to change it right now. So I've allowed the create fields is on now. And I'm going to move that forward like that a little bit. There we go. That's as far as I'm going on there. And then we can start sort of going and marking around the edges. So this is one bit here where I'm going to actually want to allow create fields. Uh, sorry, a... Uh, not allow is I'm going to want to terraform a little bit of this so I'm not too worried about getting a neat tidy edge on it at the moment because the terraforming um we're going to have to go back over and plow it again anyway once the terraforming is done because it doesn't um leave you with like a grass field or anything like that apparently it just leaves you with green at least at least as far as I know I don't know this for certain um, we're going to come up round this tree. This I, I really think that we should have removed this tree because I think that one's going to end up being too big and it's going to be in the way. Um, but I mean, we we can bring this up round here for now, and 
Okay, we may as well go straight out here. We can always go back over there and we can have another go at that afterwards. And then this here, we should be able to bring all of this up so we can sort of tidy up a load of those shrubs and stuff in the middle. Um, and we can do that afterwards with the terraforming and then maybe go back over and plow it again. I mean, I'd like to go out and plow a little bit tighter to this road. I don't think we should, though. We'll leave it like this. We'll just do this for now. And then we come out like that. And straight across this way. And then sort of bring it down around there. So you've got, like, the really steep bit there. That bit we'll kind of tidy up afterwards. We go back through and do again. And if I bring this down across it, again, you've got like that kind of basin bit right there. I'm hoping that we'll be able to include that in the field as well. And the same down here, we've got some more bits that I'd like to include in the field. It'd be quite good if we can. You've got a, a really overgrown bit right here. There's lots of overgrown bits right here. So that's another bit that we want, we want to kind of get rid of. And I'll bring that straight down there and keep it slightly back from all those trees on that side. So we got there's a, an awful lot of trees here. I'm really looking forward also to those sorts of mods that you can use to remove trees and remove lots of trees. Uh, but not have to worry about cutting them up too much. Because it's the cutting of them up. It's these deciduous trees. They are very time consuming trying to remove those. Those are... E easily the most time-consuming bits. So we'll bring that one up here now, and we'll do our second pass, and I'm hoping that after this second pass, I can then put the hired help going. I hope. We will try. We will see. Can we put hired help going on the stat... just on creating fields? Because if you can use hired help to create fields... Somebody said that they were using it to create the fields because what you can do is you put them going on the edge of where you want to create your field. And that way you've got like a, you get a dead straight line to line up for the edge of your field. And that's the bit that I really like about it. I, th I thought that sounded really, really awesome to be able to get that dead straight edge all the way along the side. Because uh, I'm quite picky about getting my um, fields right. And that just seemed like really, really cool. It, the, the fact that that's actually even a thing in the game is just amazing. It's, it's brilliant. It sort of shows how far they've come with um, working with the hired help and stuff. Uh, but this this is just hearsay at the moment. I've, I've not tested it, so I, I don't know if this is true. It, it may just be wishful thinking. It may have been people saying, wouldn't it be cool if this is something that we can do? And, and then I misread it. It's entirely possible. That has happened before. <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of hoping it's not. If I just bring this, I'll, I'll bring this one along this edge. There. There we go. We're taking all of that in. That should be then a, a deep enough kind of run that it will stop. Because the hired help is very good at, you know, in, in the middle of the field. If you put like one line across, it's normally very, very good at sort of seeing, detecting where the edge of something is. Um, just by one or two working widths. So I'm hoping that that's what it's going to do here. Um, I'll lift that out the ground there a bit, though, so that we can get it around that corner so it doesn't go too narrow on this bit. There we go. And then bring that up through there. Uh, we will go in this side a bit, I think. Just take that in a little bit tighter on there. And then bring it down this way. So there, right that bit there, that is extremely rough. I'd like to do something different on that. I'm not going to worry about it now. Let's not worry about it now. Let's go back up to the top. And we want to flip that one over. Is this going to work? Is this going to work? Is the hired help going to create our new field for us? Or is it not? We've all, we've got the allow create field on. So I'm going to press help. I has completed their task. I'm going to go along there. Right. Uh, so it would appear that maybe they don't. I, I, I don't really know. If I misread this, is there a way that you can do it? Maybe I need, maybe, oh, I know. I have one, I have one more idea. 
Right, if I go along here, and I've got it into the ground, and... Right, it's not working in that way, but it's not switching off the allow create field either. So if I bring this one along here, maybe it'll go in the other direction. Maybe, I, I, I don't know. Otherwise, we are going to have to do this ourselves. Uh, so if I bring that one down there... Um, and I go to this end. It might be that we kind of need to do it like this. So if I go there and I put that one in. Right, I've got hired help working on that and it's doing one line along the edge. So it might just be that it goes along the edge of here. I can't see that it is going to go on a left hand turn and do it. I reckon it'll go on a right hand turn, but the allow because I've still got the allow create fields going on the plow, it's allowing it to just enlarge the field ever so slightly even though we're using the hired help. So, yeah, it does it, you have got the option there to do it, but it's not quite what I was hoping for. I was hoping to be able to just kind of leave it carry on and make the whole field, but it doesn't appear that that is going to be something it's going to do. It'll go. Yeah, it's not going to. And, and it's also, it's going to stop and turn. Yeah, right. Let's not worry about it then. So it's, it's obviously not going to work quite the way that we wanted. I will bring this one back down here. We're going to have to call it quits for today. but we So we've got a lot of plowing to do. So we'll be having to go with this in our next episode. We might go for a slightly bigger plow. I'm not really sure yet. Um... And, well, we'll sort of see. It shouldn't take actually that long. And, yeah, it might be better if we could go and get a bigger plow just for this job. But I don't think it's going to take all that long to do this. We'll see. We'll see how it progresses. But, anyway, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.